morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Seat Work Explanation. Today is lesson number 150. All right, boys and girls, let's take a look at our handwriting sheet, working with phonics. As always, please make sure you have your name on your paper. All right, boys and girls, we are still reviewing our letters. We have learned all the letters of the alphabet, how to form them correctly. This is an opportunity for you to practice what you have learned in class. Please make sure that you are forming your letters correctly. Make sure you start at, on the correct line. Make sure you do not pass those lines. You need to stay right on those lines. You're going to be reviewing the capital and lowercase letters S, T, and U. Let's take a look at section two. Write the words under the correct sound. In the green box, you see the word fork. Lord, rich, daddy, beware, ouch, every, and square. And over here, you see um, some special sounds. You see or and morning, ch and church, e and baby, and air. In care. Now the first one is done for you. Or fork has or in morning. So here it goes under or in morning. Go ahead and trace fork. And then there's another line. That means there's one more word that has or in morning. You look for that word and write it on the line. All right, let's take a look at our next sheet. This is our math sheet, page 299. All right, mark their circle of the clock that shows one half hour later. So you have a clock here. It says three o'clock. You need to ask yourself, how many minutes is one half hour later? If there's 60 minutes in one hour, half of 60 is 30 minutes. So one half late hour later is a to total of 30 minutes. So if it's three o'clock now, one half hour later, it will be 3.30, which clock shows 3.30. If you take a look at this clock, this clock shows 3.30, this clock shows 3.45, and this clock shows 4 o'clock. Which one is one half hour later than 3 o'clock? If you select this one, which says 3.30, then you are correct. Now, if the time is 3.30, what time will it be one half hour later? If the time is 3.30. The time one half later will be four o'clock. Remember, one half hour later equals 30 minutes. Let's take a look at section two. With your red crayon, color the thermometer to the temperature that matches the weather. So here, you can come up with your own thermometer, I mean, own, own temperature. It doesn't tell you to find a temperature. But if you look at the picture, you see this boy right here. He's outside. He's playing baseball. So what temperature do you think it most likely be? There's no one right answer. And here you see this girl right here. She ha it's, she's wearing 
you know, a sweater, some boots, and she has a little hat on, and there's a snowman. What temperature will that most likely be? Remember, there's no right answer. Now take a look at section three. Start at the left, color the sixth umbrella blue. So you need to start on the left and count the sixth umbrella. Once you reach the sixth um, umbrella, you color it blue. All right, boys and girls, we are not going to go over page 300 right now during seat work explanation. We're going to use, I'm going to use this sheet to teach the math lesson. So we're gonna move on to Letters in Sound, page 150. Let's take a look at section one. It says circle A and A. A and A. So you're looking at the special sounds and you circle only A and A. A and A is spelled E I G H A A A. Let's take a look at section two. Section two says match. You're going to match the contraction with the two word it stands for. For example, I'm. I'm, apost I apostrophe M means I am. So you draw a line for I'm to I am. And you're going to match the other contraction with the two word it stands for. Let's take a look at section three. Change the Y to an I and add EST. The word, the first word is sleepy. That root word ends with a Y. Before adding a suffix beginning with the E, drop the Y, replace it with an I, and then add your suffix EST. The new word will be sleepiest. All right, let's take a look at our language paper, page 150. Our section one says, read the story, answer the questions. There's a short story that you need to read. And there's four questions over here that you need to answer the questions. I'll read the questions. The first one says, what do Chase and Beth Beth wear to keep safe. A hat or a helmet. The next one, who goes to the park with Chase and Beth? Beth, mom or dad? Where does the bike pack take them first? Baseball field or duck pond? What does Beth like to do on the playground? Swing or slide? Let's take a look at section two. Mark the circle under the correct picture. Read the riddle. I have web feet. I love to swim. Does chicken have web feet? Do they like to swim? What about a fish? A fish likes to swim, but does it have web feet? No. A duck has web feet, and it loves to swim. And as you can see, a duck space is marked. You read the other, the other section and complete the rest like that. All right, boys and girls, that is our time for seat work explanation for today. Have a wonderful day.